Hi everybody, this is Bo here from Boda Fitness and real quickly I wanted to go over uh, template eating with you in a short uh, video presentation. So I'm going to go over um, what it entails, uh, try to do this real quick. If you want more in-depth explanation about why uh, these meals are, are what they are and the structure of it, then you'd want to read the attached article on template eating goes a little into a little bit more detail. This video is really going to be just for those of you that want to get this going right away and know exactly what to start doing. So basically there are at least two, I think maybe three main rules to follow with um, with uh, template eating. Uh, the first rule is that you're going to take your total calories that you're aiming for for the day and you're going to divide that by five. All right, so if you're aiming for 2,000 calories a day, you're going to divide that by five. That's about 400 calories per meal. That is your per meal budget. If you don't know how many calories to aim for per day, the most accurate way to do this would be to actually have your metabolism tested, uh, which we do here at Boda Fitness, uh, or you would use a formula uh, mathematical equation on, on something like MyFitnessPal. And you're just going to have to kind of experiment to see if your calories are in the right range. Rule number two. Four of the meals you have every day are repetitive. And again, I'm not gonna go into the details as far as why that's important, but let me just emphasize that it is important that these four meals stay repetitive. Uh, rule three, one flex meal every day. So one flex meal means one meal of anything that you want uh, with a, a few little boundaries here that your flex meal needs to have no more than 400 calories as well in it. Uh, as far as it needs to have the same number of calories as the other uh, four meals. So a flex meal needs to have this uh, 400 calories. However, it can be anything that you want in that flex meal. I'm going to give you some examples of what would make some great flex meals in a minute. And um, the second kind of rule that attaches to the flex meal is that if your meal is less than ideal, meaning that your meal was high in fat and or sugar, then what you want to do is with that meal you want to consume a fiber drink let me see if i have some fiber here so fiber drink would be like uh, psyllium fiber is a great one two to three scoops of psyllium you could do ground flax seed you could do chia seed um, but you want to have a big bottle of water no pills or capsules a powder of some kind um, or in some cases you could also get away with a really large salad prior to your flex meal so for example let's say my flex meal is pizza I'm going to make sure that I have a big fiber drink prior to that pizza. And again, I'm not going to go into all the details about why. We'll talk more about that in class and in the article. I think I touch on that a little bit as well. So uh, th that is our, our structure of our meals. Now, the four meals that are repetitive, I'm going to go into those real quick and explain, you, uh, explain what those are. So meal number one, convenience meal, super fast, takes li little to no time to prepare. You can eat it on the go, is a meal replacement shake. So for your meal replacement shake, um, you can choose any meal replacement shake that you really like. However, I, I'm a big fan of the raw meal by Garden of Life. A few different flavors. I like the vanilla chai. One to two scoops in a shaker bottle or a blender bottle, along with one to two cups of almond milk or water or cashew milk, something like that. And depending on the number of calories that you're aiming for, you may be able to get away with uh, uh, some frozen cherries, frozen bananas, maybe some greens like spinach and all blend it all up in the in the um, uh, the blender. The nice thing about the meal replacement shake is you can, although you are having one shake every day, you can change the flavors of your shakes. Give in that your shake stays within the 400 calorie budget. So remember, no matter what you add to it, you need to make sure that shake stays within your calorie budget for that particular meal. So every day, one meal replacement shake. Meal replacement shake is not protein powder. A meal replacement shake is a meal. That means it has healthy essential fatty acids, it has fiber, it has protein, it has carbohydrates. It is a meal. And now with the um, protein in each meal, we're aiming for roughly 20 to 30 grams, give or take, of, of protein, preferably mostly plant-based protein, in our, in our um, meals. By the way, one little trick that can really beef up the fiber and protein and uh, nutrients in your diet is to add beans into the diet and different meals in various ways. Beans is like a superfood that we wanna try to incorporate. And this can be easily incorporated into a lot of the meals that we're gonna talk about. Even, believe it or not, the, the meal replacement shake. Those of you who know me know I've made several shakes. One of them is a pea and peanut butter based uh, 
protein chocolate peanut butter shake that is made with a form of a legume or bean or pea. Uh, I also have a great black bean chocolate black bean shake that's like a meal replacement shake. And believe it or not, it's made with beans, but it tastes like chocolatey. It's delicious. So every day, one meal replacement shake. That's one of the four meals. Meal number two. And again, not necessarily in this order, but this is a meal you're going to have every day with a few exceptions for those who maybe have allergies, things like that. So we have an egg with a cooked vegetable. Uh, so broccoli, spinach, uh, mushrooms. I like salsa and beans. So like salsa and like spicy black beans with egg white omelet. Try to go with whites. We're going to be able to have more volume, less overall fat and saturated fat and cholesterol and just more food to eat. Uh, and a little bit higher uh, protein intake. Now, if you want a plant-based option, uh, instead of the eggs that you're gonna have consistently every day, you make a, a tofu scramble. So you get some tempeh or tofu if you want, and you can make and actually make like an egg scramble with again, a cooked vegetable. And, um, uh, or uh, even, even better yet, do a bowl of Bob's Red Mill hot cereal or oatmeal, put in some frozen berries to kind of cool it down a little bit a natural low calorie sweetener, some cinnamon, and if you want to beef up the protein a little bit, a little bit of some vanilla flavored uh, plant-based protein powder and you whisk it right in. This same recipe, by the way, can be made in a blender bottle and made uh, to make pancakes in the morning that are uh, oat and protein powder based and or egg whites added as well. Remember with that particular meal, 400 calories or less if your total calorie intake for the day is 2000 and again this is gonna the, the total calorie intake will vary from person to person so just to, re to review so far we have the meal replacement shake we have the egg omelet with a cooked vegetable and by the way you can have with that as long as you can fit it in with your budget a little bit of some fresh fruit so or frozen fruit in this case for example the frozen berries meal three is a frozen dinner that has the macros, the calories, uh, all on it. Now, the frozen dinner doesn't have to be a store-bought frozen dinner. You can make your own frozen dinners at home. You can batch cook them. So you can cook up a whole bunch of you know vegetables, your meats or meat substitutes, as well as your um, starches like rice, potatoes, things like that. Cook those all up and make 10 to 15 containers of meals that are all fit your calories. Again, we're following that pattern of having about uh, 20 grams or so of protein per meal, along with a big serving of vegetables and possibly a healthy starch like rice or potatoes, sweet potato, something like that, oatmeal. And then you're going to freeze those up and you're going to save them and you're going to have one of those every day as one of your meals. Advantage with these frozen meals, super easy to grab, heat up. Your calories are already portioned. So I know that each of these meals, I like the eating well meals. They're only up about 300 calories or less per meal, about 20 to 24 grams of protein per meal. They're low in fat, got a vegetable, they taste good. One frozen meal every day. Keep your calories portions all in the right uh, range there. Now, as a uh, substitute for those frozen meals, another instant quick meal is a soup, an instant soup or a homemade soup. And again, you want a soup that's going to get you the calories that you need for that particular meal, all depending on the number of calories you're aiming for. So this soup has 340 calories in it, but it's delicious. It's filling. Again, there's our beans. I, If I'm aiming for 400 calories, that means I only have about a 60 calorie budget to deal with. So I may be able to add with that soup a little something extra. I could have some baby carrots or I could have maybe a piece of fruit. Um, if it's small, like a couple tangerines or a kiwi. So what I'm going to add with this soup would probably be just a fruit or vegetable to kind of beef up the uh, the size of the uh, veg up, I should say, the size of that particular meal. So that would be a, an alternative to one of these to have that soup. Soups are great satiety foods. And another great way to beef up the fiber and volume for this meal, soup with a salad. So having a salad with your soup. Uh, so now we have, again, just to review, three meals, meal replacement shake. We have our, um, our omelet or oatmeal with berries. We have our soup and, our, and or uh, a frozen meal, so one or the other. And then our fourth repetitive meal, here I have some of my homemade protein bars. I have, excuse me, a raw apple, and could be, you know, here's a, I could slice up a pepper, could be uh, baby carrots, could be sugar snap peas, green beans, whatever, it's gonna be a, 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 raw, a raw fruit, a raw vegetable. These are th so easy, you can throw this in your bag, 
good to go. You stop and have it when you need a you know quick snack. You munch through your apple, you have your bar, and then you're gonna munch on some raw veggies, specifically raw. So those are our four repetitive meals. And again, the structure of each one is very similar in the sense that each meal has about 20 to 30 grams of protein, has a healthy carbohydrate that is predominantly uh, vegetable, fruit, or a healthy starch base with it. The calories all stay within one fifth of your total caloric intake. And then we have that one flex meal that is uh, anything you want, pizza, lasagna, burritos, but it could be something, it doesn't have to be junk, it can be something really healthy. And it can even be a repeat of one of your other uh, flex meals. It could be another, you know, freezer meal. It could be another cup of soup. Um, in some cases, if you get late at night, you've eaten your four meals, you're full, and you're like, man, I'm not even really hungry. I just want to go to bed. Well, then, hey, go to bed. Skip that fifth meal. You By, by eating fewer calories, you create a greater caloric deficit and subsequently more uh, fat loss. So um, I'm going to try to see if I can post a, uh, a little slide that has all of the meals listed there. So you can see that, but uh, those are that is template eating in a nutshell. And I know that's a longer video than I had, you know, tried to, to make here. But I wanted to make sure you guys had a way to begin implementing that right away. If you have any questions, look me up at uh, Board of Fitness, and uh, I can talk to you in person.